Gemini, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, there will be an extended at the end. Also, I do have an account with Patreon. If you're interested in all of the extendeds, uh, there is a monthly membership that you can sign up for, and it's the same cost as one individual extended. So I highly recommend you check that out because then you can get all of the extendeds for all of the Gemini readings included in your membership. The link for the individual and the Patreon account is below. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because it really is beneficial for you because then you'll get notified all things Gemini. And I, I upload Gemini readings every single week. <clears throat> I'll pull some Oracle cards and we'll hop right into your tarot reading, Gemini. Gates of Triumph. Success expands your life. Grounding. Go deep. Explore your roots. I actually did a Gemini reading and I had to delete it because it didn't make any sense to me. View from above. Get the big picture. And what you're seeing, what you're not seeing is watching clouds, lie back, rest, and relax. It's like you're not seeing that you just need to let the universe work. You're not seeing that you just need to handle, just be grounded, just, you know, worry about yourself. Don't worry about um, right now. <coughs> Don't worry about right now. Worry, like, look at the bigger picture. Things are going, like, from a different perspective. Okay, I'll lay the tarot cards down, and then I'll go over them. King of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Two of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Cups. Page of Swords, and the overall energy is Four of Cups. I feel like you might be... Um, in this situation of stagnancy, and I feel like you're not even seeing that you're supposed to be taking this time to rest, but you're sitting here taking, um, it's not like you're not resting, you're actually in discontentment. I'm seeing that there's only one major arcana that came out. The King of Pentacles is clarified by the Magician and the High Priestess. You're meant to take this time to be able to become the King of Pentacles, to become grounded, to become um, stable and solid. The Magician and the High Priestess. It's about creating, creating your own connections with people. Creating a connection with yourself, your spirituality. I feel like I feel like you're um, at this moment in your life where you're realizing that you need to see things from a different perspective. It's like there's a switch that flips in you, Gemini, that is like, I no longer want to do this anymore. I want to time out. I want to get over it. Two of Cups. You're tired of being where you're at. There you are, lovers and six of swords. So it's like you're ready to move on. You're ready to move past whatever this is that's been bothering you. You're ready to take action into this new direction. This wheel of fortune is trying to tell you that um, the worries that you have, the stresses that you have are inside your own head. That... It's you're sabotaging yourself because of your thought process and the universe is trying to tell you we are in the age of Aquarius right now. So just make sure that your thoughts are pure and they're, they're on the goal and they're on your happiness. That this release, this, this childish stewing of things or becoming emotional about things needs to end. I do feel like there are people out there that want to support you, I do feel like you do have a crowd of people that are behind you rooting you on. And I feel like you're confused on whether they're with you or not, but I feel like it's whatever makes you happy. And what I mean by that is um, if these people that are rooting you on are not your tribe, then, you know, have them leave your tribe. They don't have to um, be your tribe. They don't have to be your people. <laughs> 
If they're not who you want, then get rid of them. You know, make sure that the people that you do have in your life, you know, and I don't even feel like it's confusion. I actually feel like you're actually seeing the opportunities available for you. I feel like you're seeing because of all of the support that you do have and the direction that you want to go. And I feel like you are seeing all of these possible scenarios and it's like you're seeing sky's the limit. You're seeing that sky's the limit, the view from above, like you're actually taking steps into that. Whether it's relationships or, um, I feel like you're also seeing that speaking your truth, saying what you need to say, communicating about issues and work, trying to work through them is going to be um, noticed. There is healing. There is movement towards. It's, it's almost like you went through something and you're standing here and you're just like waiting for this situation to finally end or to finally remove yourself from it. And so there's just a lot of waiting, I feel, and stagnancy. And that's why you got the overall energy is just discontentment. But it's like the universe is trying to tell you that these secrets about what you've done, about how you've overcome obstacles, are they're, it's going to come out. You're going to be able to communicate what it is that you need to say about, you know, people in your life, about situations in your life. You just have to stay grounded, and it's very important for that. You're going to overcome this. You just have to look at the bigger picture. You just have to see things from a different perspective. This is what I have for you, Gemini. In the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because then you'll get notified all things Gemini, and it really is beneficial for you. If you're interested in the monthly membership with Patreon to get all of the extendeds included, the link for the individual and the monthly membership for Patreon is below in the description. A couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the title resonates for you, I highly recommend you check them out. And I will see you over there.